I have a lot of people who want to talk to me one on one. And during the webinar, I said, I'm really expensive. So I slept on that and I came up with this the corporate advisor. And since I'm still building it out, this is what the offer is you get the corporate citizen playbook, the YouTube course, the productivity course, the money management course. And you get the corporate advisor. Corporate advisor is something I'm going to put on maybe once or twice a month where I'll be talking about real corporate issues. And if you go ahead and sign up for the corporate advisor, you will get a one on one consult with me. Now, I've set it up in the course and I'm going to give you a discount because in the future, this thing's going to. I think I don't know, but I think it's going to be kind of huge. So. If you want to talk to me, you can go ahead and sign up for the corporate advisor and I'll schedule a one on one conversation with you. So that's going on in I eat fire. So let's go ahead and get into this video. You know, I was sitting there thinking I was in the gym today and I was working out and I saw this girl who was trying to squat. And she was doing a really, really bad job of it. And I went over to her and I said, hey, I'm not trying to be an authoritarian, but let me go ahead and show you how to do that correctly, because the way you're doing that, you're going to end up hurting yourself. And she was, oh, really? You know, this is my first time in the gym. And I was like, all right. So I worked with her and I said, what you want to do is just to do the bar and work on getting as low as you can. So she went ahead and did a set and she got lower and lower and lower. And about her fourth set, she was, her butt was almost touching the ground because she was able to go lower and lower and lower. And I said, what you want to do is start with little weights, like maybe 10 pound plates on each side. And once you can do that comfortably, then go up and go up and go up. And you know, she was really like, well, well thank you. I really appreciate this. this is helping me out a lot. And this is one of the reasons that, you know, and I said, you know, you have a lot of courage to come in the gym and to work out because, you know, we all have to start somewhere, you know, and she was like, you know, so I, I have me a new gym buddy, but essentially starting a business is an act of courage. It's an act of faith. And this is why most people will never do it. Because I'm about to tell you something. Most folks have no faith or courage in themselves. Zero. And this is one of the reasons, and a shout out to the credit plug, because yes, people be getting salty when you be showing receipts. And this, this is one of the things that got me, and this is one of the reasons that I, I just don't show receipts anymore. I used to show pay stubs, I used to show bank accounts, ATM receipts in cars and everything. And I pulled back from that because essentially what I was doing was, was peeing in these people's face. It was like skeet, 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 skeet. Because so many people just don't have courage. They don't have any faith. They, they have no, nothing. They're just like nothing there. And you know, Going back to the greatest generation, this is the generation of men who fought in World War II. These young men were coming out of high schools and they were being shipped off and they were going to war. I want you to think, you graduate high school in June, in December, someone shooting bullets over your head. Very, very different uh, prospect, very, very different thing. And starting the business in many regards, it's an act of war because you are declaring that you're not going to be common. You're not going to be average. You're not going to be, you're actually declaring a, a, a lot. You're declaring a, a, an act of war. You're just saying, I am not going to be a regular person. I am not going to be someone who is just trying to do things. I'm not going to be 
a regular normal person working a regular normal job. I'm not going to be that person. So you're declaring an act of war when you start a business and say, and this is why I feel and stick with me here because I have to go way, 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 way back because now I'm kind of fearless and because I've gone to war for so many years because each time you start a new business, it's an act of war and it's, it's a war against being the common man and it's a war against being a common person in society. And I remember, you know, this, this, this happens to me quite a bit. I'll go somewhere dressed like this, dressed like this. You know, I guess this would be called quiet wealth, quiet luxury. Uh, I think this shirt cost me like 20 bucks and these pants cost me like $30. Now this watch, <laughs> that was 50,000. But I will go somewhere dressed like this and people who work at establishments just know that I'm a business owner. I don't know if it's my manners, the way I conduct myself. I also feel this has a lot to do with it. Uh, I am very much a person that is passionate about doing my, my work stuff during non-business hours. This is one of the reasons I go to the gym in the morning because I don't want to be in the gym in the afternoons when it's crowded and like, I went to the gym Saturday and I got my workout again. And I was like, I, I will not be missing any more workouts because for years I have been doing my shopping and stuff in the mornings. Go to the furniture store in the morning. There's nobody there. Go to the grocery store in the morning. There's hardly nobody there. Go to the bank in the morning. There's nobody there. It's just me and the old people, right? And because I've made this declaration of war 25 years ago, uh, I've been through a lot of battles and I would consider each and every time I start a new business, it's like I'm going to a new war. And once you go ahead and establish that and get that in your head, that I'm a different type of animal, I'm a different type of beast because Honestly, I feel that my warlike mentality has been really aggressive that it has like, let me go ahead and explain it like this. My business like war mentality has filtered off into my personal side where my business side has shaped me as a personal person and I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of fearless because I remember years ago, and this was when I wrote my first book and I was called to give this speech to talk to these group of people and it was about, I was told it was going to be 30, it was actually like 100 people. And I was just up there talking and I realized that this was my first speaking event. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't apprehensive. I was just up there talking and that happened because of the business stuff that happened. Cause this is what I mean. Cause it just matriculated to where I could sit down and talk to a hundred people as if it was just you and I having a conversation at a, at a table in a restaurant. And because when you go ahead and make that act of war, that declaration of war, and you start to do battle, it changes you on a personal level. Now let's talk about why so many people will never ever start a business. And I have been working really, really hard. I will tell you something. The number of people who, that have unsubscribed for the channel has jumped because I had willowed it down. And when people realize 
that I wasn't going to do the foolishness content. And they're like, he's really serious. He's not going to do that anymore. I mean, I woke up this morning. I think we're at 415,000 subscribers. And I will say, salute. You guys did not. It's like, oh, he ain't going to do it. I'm not going to be here. Cool. That's cool. Because one of the things that I have begun to realize and begin to understand is once you declare an act of war and you're serious, this is when things start really hitting. And so to all those folks who left, you know, bless you. Thank you why you were here and good luck on your future journey. Now, let's go ahead and talk about why there are so many people who will never, ever start a business, who will never make that declaration of war. I'm going to say something that may sound somewhat passive aggressive, but a lot of y'all weren't raised right. Now, what do I mean by that? You did not have a stay at home parent. Uh, I don't know what it's like to go to daycare. I never went to daycare. I always had someone who knew me, what, looking over me, taking care of me. And even though from a financial perspective, we were poor, from a cultural perspective, my grandmother was a teacher, we were rich and I was taught to read and I was taught to wonder and I was taught to study. And many of you, your parents just straight up ignored you. Just just to be honest, they just ignored you. You were just like, just kind of hanging out and they were like, mm, we don't have no use for this person. You were just ignored. You were not cared for. You were not attended to. No one looked after you. No one cared for you. And one of the things that you will see is it manifest in you as you become an adult. Because this is one of the reasons that I date the women that I date. All the women that I have dated seriously, once again, I'm not trying to be dismissive or aggressive. They had mothers and fathers, and they adored their fathers. They had good relationships with their fathers. And in turn, these women are submissive, kind, agreeable, easy to deal with. And that's just who I am naturally drawn to, and they're naturally drawn to me. So once again, I just in the relationships I've had with women who did not have that type of family background have been complete in other disasters. And that's one of the reasons that I just kind of stay, you know, I've literally pretty much stay in my lane. If I talk to a girl and we having a conversation and I found out that her, she had a crazy family life. She doesn't have a good relationship with her father or worse yet, she didn't have a relationship with her father. I am out. I am out. I am out because I already know how this is going to end because the things that happen to you as a child, they manifest in you as you become an adult. So this is one of the reasons that so many people will never ever start a business. They will never ever matriculate, start a business, build anything, do anything significant in life because they've had really crappy childhoods. Now there's another group of people who will be extremely successful because they've had crappy, miserable childhoods. So, but this is a smaller group and these folks are really, really tough. Uh, they're, they're just like, I, I, my, my, my childhood sucked, but my adult life will not. So once again, to actually have the courage to start a business, to actually have a courage to put yourself out there. And this kind of goes back to my video, not dating a woman that will cheat on you. Uh, that's one of the things that I really, really look at. Because, you know, everyone's like, hey, I want to work for you. I want to work for you for free and everything. I'm just sitting there like, mm-hmm. Yeah, you're the worst employee ever on the planet. You, you just can't. You just want to come, scoop up the knowledge, and then leave. 
last employee I would ever hire. So one of the things that you have to understand is if you're starting a business, that is your declaration of war against being average and being a normal, regular person. Because, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of interesting because I've been doing the business thing for so long, 25 years, I can go somewhere and people just know without me speaking, without me saying anything, they just know that I'm a little different. They just know. They just are able to understand that I am a different type of animal. I am a different type of prey. I'm a different type of cat. And I want that for you because this is one of the reasons because like, um, let me go ahead and just kind of do a little corporate business towards the end of this video. I know a lot of people is like, I'm out. Um, once again, the X5 will be given away the 1st of August. And what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to take July and I'm going to take that time to do a lot of building out of the corporate tool, the corporate citizen playbook, the YouTube course and the corporate advisor. I've got to set that up. So there's a lot of things that are coming up because essentially we're going to be building people who are going to be fearless building people who are going to like say, I don't want to be average and we're going to be building people. I don't want to be normal. So go ahead. Uh, I've got a webinar that you can go ahead and hit up and you can go ahead and get in or you can go ahead and get into the corporate advisor, which is more expensive because let's go ahead and talk about this. This is my act of war and my um, webinars, my one-on-one -on -one consulting consultants, have been extremely expensive for years. I have never went ahead and bombed the price and everything. Cause like, essentially this is my declaration of war. If you want to talk to me, you're going to pay. And you know, there's a lot of people. It's like, I don't want to talk to you that much. And that's like, fine, that's cool. You don't want to talk to me. But if you talk to me and this new thing is going to be much better because you're going to get more out of it. You get to talk to me, you get the corporate citizen playbook, you get the YouTube chores, you get the productivity course, you get the corporate advisor uh, live webinars. So we got a lot of stuff that's gonna go down. So all of this stuff will be in the first comment and then other stuff will be in the description box. So my name is Glendon Cameron. I will talk to you guys in the next video.